So Akuma already has a tool life counter built in, but I found the way it uses spare tooling and its turret system a little awkward to get around, a little too much to set up. So I went the long route and I built my own using this, using its screen. My version of the tool counter allows you to count for any tool without a spare or count for multiple tools on the same pocket. Say if you have a uh, dual head or like a drill head like this and you have a drill going out either direction. The way I accomplish this is I use the already built in management counter and the variables that it comes along with. I built a sub program that you can put anywhere in your code and when it calls that it will increment the correct values. So here we'll run through the code and then we'll see how it works in practice. To start, I'm gonna scroll down. These are all my notes. These are all the variables that I use and their definitions inside the machine. Back at the top, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my tool group number to my offset number. What that means is in the management table, I'm gonna set whatever this line you want to the current offset number of the current tool. So let's say that, I'm gonna go back to program. Let's say that I choose a work counter, you know, of number five, this WC. So if I choose number five, it will go in and set the group number to whatever the current offset number is that is pulled up. We'll say that I'm pulling up uh, tool five offset five, it'll put five in that spot. The second thing I'm gonna do is increment the count number. So I'm taking the count, of, we'll call it five for WC, and we're just gonna increment it. So this actual spot will go up by one. Next thing I'm gonna do is ask if the set amount is greater than the actual. If that's true, I'm done, I'm going back to the program. What this is asking in the tool counter is if the set amount is greater than the actual. If that's not true, I'm gonna set my custom error. So the custom error set is VUACM. You might have to look further into this to see all what it does. This is what I use and it works for me. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set my custom error message one to tool life count. And then the second thing I'm gonna do is throw a custom error and 991 is going to be an alarm C. And the way I'm gonna throw that custom error is with the number of the current tool and offset. It won't have a leading zero if it's say five, but it will show 505 if it's tool five offset five. After that, we're done. We're gonna go back to the program. Now I chose an alarm C. This will not stop the program. It won't stop the next one from running. It will just have the red bar up here. In the program, the way I call this is my sample call here is you just call OTLC and then you set WC equal to whatever slot you want for that tool. So let's go over to a program now that I have for this. So here in this test program, I'm going to call up G140, just make sure I'm on first side. Position in X and Z, I'm gonna call it tool five and then I'm going to put my counter in the slot number one. So T number one is what it says, but for me, I'm gonna call it a slot. I'm gonna use this slot. And then it will pick, it'll recognize the tool, put all the information in, and it'll increment. So to prove that, I'm gonna clear this out. I'm gonna set all these to zero. Actually, not this set. I'm gonna leave this set at We'll go to about five. We'll say, you know, we're cutting something really hard. We'll set actual to zero. All right, so now we have a remaining. So yeah, the only thing you have to do here is you gotta come in and put your set value. You can do that, you know, before you run your tool, just how many you think is gonna run. If you don't have a good estimation, set it pretty high, set it to 100. All right, let's run through this program and see what happens. So it called up tool five offset five and then called our tool counter and we put it in slot number one. We go over to our management screen. We can see that it set number one, the group of number one to five, which would be our offset number. Uh, I shouldn't have set that at five. That's kind of confusing. I set that before we did all this. And then it set actual to one. 
Here, we'll go we'll go ahead and set this to uh, like three to make it less confusing. So the program set the group number and incremented the actual number and we're still good. Let's let's run another one. All right. Green button, we run another one. There's two. We run another one. There's three. We run this third one. We're gonna get an error for our user code, alarm C. It's gonna say tool life count. And then up here, it's gonna say the tool number without leading zeros. So 505, pretty much 505. I can prove this by doing instead, here I'll, I'll set this back to zero or reset. In my program, let's go to uh, let's go to 1212. And instead, this time we'll use slot number eight. All right, so let's run this. Tool left count. That's because I didn't set my initial counter. So let's set this to three. But you can see it did everything right. In eight, now my group number is 12. I have one as my count. Let's keep going. Oh, and it already says 1212. We'll just go through it to make sure it works. There's two, there's three. On the fourth one, we get 1212, tool life count. That makes it really easy to come over here and say, okay, number 12, we need to change that tool. There's no life remaining. We change the tool, we set this back to zero. We're good to run again. Alrighty, there's my counter. I hope you find this useful or helpful. I kind of been struggling with the counter myself recently because I have a lot of dual station tools or, you know, heck, I even have a turning quad block in here and it just doesn't make it very easy to consider every tool on that station. So this helps me just dial it in by the offset number and all my tools have different offset numbers, so I'm good to go. The only limit to this is that in our counter table, we only have 16 stations, which seems like enough, but like I said, I got a quad block in here and two sides of the turret, but I can only count 16 of those. So if you're looking for a simple way to count tools on an Okuma, here you go. You can try this out, see how it works for you. Thanks.